<laughs> Nothing new. It's so crazy that you want to talk about the Murdoch case because I watched like a little doc on it. Not that I'm an expert, but I literally wasn't following it at all. I have this thing about true crime and I'm just like, I don't do it. And so um, I, I hadn't been paying attention to it. Well, HBO Max had a documentary and I'm like, I just like, I was watching the third part just like two seconds ago. So what, what what's going on with you in, in true crime? You, you don't do true crime type docs or anything like that? I don't do true crime. Um, that's so- interesting because to me, it seemed like that's like a thing that where a lot of females get exactly. into exactly, yeah. Whether it's the documentaries or whether it's like the Lifetime movies, it's like you—you you always, well, not you, but I'll see like memes where it talks about the girls, like the crazy girls or whatever, like they're into like those type of. Uh, it's like it's not that I films. don't do stuff like that. I don't know. It's just like I don't. It just seems exploitive for one. Okay. <laughs> like you have like the victims' families, and like the fact that people make so much money off of it, and basically <laughs> like you have like a loved one who was like really like murdered, and you don't really <laughs> benefit from that. Not that you would want to, but it's like sick, you know. And <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like the Jeffrey Dahmer's and all that other stuff. So like, I avoid that sort of shit. Like, I'm not really into that. I'm not even going to throw out the little tidbit when I hear that last name. I'm just going to let that shit just slide. Cause... Exactly. Exactly. I'm not going to throw away the asterisk. But to your comment, like, yeah, for things like that, that was crazy how that actually, I don't know when it came out, but when it did, it seemed like that first month, it was really, really hot. And to me, I don't go and watch anything. Because like, to me, I don't need to get into the mindset of what he's doing. Like, I know exactly. the outcome. Exactly. That's don't exactly know how I the feel. the gory details of it. Because it almost, like, empowers him again. Like, it becomes, like, a, a thing where people want to imitate. Or, like, even, like, for Halloween, you want to dress up and try to be like him. Like, that shit ain't That ain't That's cool. how I feel. And then, like, it, fur- it was further solidified for me when I read an article about how because they got backlash like Netflix did. They were like, these people yeah. are real victims, you know, these people. Like, and they're, it's like within living memory. Like it didn't happen like a long, long time ago. Like we're not talking about like a murder from the 20s. But so they, somebody did a write up on like the fact or like Netflix came out. It's like, well, we reached out to the families and nobody responded. And you may anyway, not so, take it serious anyway. Is that not a sign? That should be a sign. That, that doesn't give them... <laughs> They're not approving of this. Like they're obviously exactly. not responding like, for a reason. These people are traumatized uh, every time Jeffrey Dauber comes up, and like it was, it was like kind of shitty stuff. Like, like there's this one part in the in the series where one of the uh, the sister of one of the victims is on the stand, and they basically did it like side. It's like almost verbatim what her testimony was. Like, mm-hmm. and she was like, it was such a violation. Like I. You know, like, yeah, I, yeah. Nah, yeah, I, yeah, and that's not to say, like, I listened to a 10 part series on the OJ series on the OJ trial and like the different parts of that. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you, um, but like, I feel like they kind of centered like Nicole Brown in that as well. And as far yeah. as like, and like the culmination of like why it became like a media spectacle, like, so like, I and you know, I also did the same thing with the DC snipers, and it was uh, these are you're wrong about episodes, by the way. And it was bas- it, it basically debunks what you thought that you knew about these things. So, like, things like that, I'm not saying, like, I've never watched, like I said, some type of true crime aspect. But, like, I just don't like the the, the, the girl that lit up the room. And now, you know, <laughs> just, I don't I know. From the monet- monetization point, I definitely understand that point, too. Because, like, how you're saying with the Netflix and them reaching out to the families, if they're not responding, but they're still pushing it, it's all about money. They're putting that thing out to see. Absolutely. And then it's they all- always, yeah. like, attract, like, or not attract, they always, like, cast, like, these attractive people in these roles. Like, y'all saw how Jeffrey Dahmer looked. Like, he did not look like that. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so, no, right. so you have people who are like, oh, he you're looks right. good because the actor is attractive. And they're just like, and then you get like fan cams as the actor dressed as like Jeffrey Dahmer. And I'm just like, I can't handle that. I totally feel you. Thanks for watching the YouTube.
YouTube page for more exclusive content. Like and subscribe. And if we said something wrong or if there's anything you want us to bring up, leave a comment right down there.